Hi readers, it's Miss Juarez here and Emilio. Hi! So one of my favorite things about books is not only the adventures you get to go on, but it's meeting these interesting characters. Of course! Yeah! So today we are going to learn how to study the main character. Like same main character. Main character. Main character is who the story is mainly about. Yeah, like what's the story about? What's the character look like? Or what's the character wearing? Yeah, and also not only get to know them from the outside, but get to know them from the inside, right? So books have characters, but they usually tend to have one or two main characters, okay? So when we study the main character, there are four questions that we can ask. We can ask, we can study and read and think about what is the character doing? What is the character saying? What is the character feeling? Like when some of the characters feel sad, uh -huh. happy, yeah. mad, yeah. or they feel like lonely. Or lonely, yeah, lots of feelings. And then what is the character thinking? thinking? Like they're thinking about what should I do? Or they're thinking about what can I do today? Yeah. Or they're thinking about how to solve this problem. Oh, there's As we worry, we're going to use these questions to help us track our thinking and thinking about what is the character doing? doing? What is the character what is saying? saying? What is the character feeling? feeling? Or what is the character thinking? You got it. Here we go. Okay. So today's story is called The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. So using last week's lesson, looking at the cover, what do you think this story might be about? It might be about a princess wearing a bag. For sure, because I see that there's a princess with a paper bag. Because Take a look at this dragon. What do you think his story is about? Maybe he looks like He's run out of breath to free fire. Yeah. Tell me more. He's kind of defeated. Yeah, he does look defeated, right? Why do you think he might be defeated? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe somebody defeated him. Maybe. Let's study the main character together. Here we go. So Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. There he is! He's like, help! Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's naked! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's like, I need clothes. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Take a look at her. Elizabeth. What do you think she's feeling right now? Frustrated. Frustrated. How do you know? What is she doing that tells you that? She's she's trying to put this on, but it's, it's a little a little itchy, right? Well, you can see her body language, right? Character's body language says so much. Her arms are like this. Her face is like this, right? She's probably thinking, what do you think she's thinking? The dragon took her prince. Yeah. And what do you think she's thinking? Tell me more. Maybe he took my prince and my clothes. And my clothes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's keep reading. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forest and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. 
Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. <laughs> Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests. That's a lot of forests. That is a lot of forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forces. Uh, he's like, that feeling is like, oof, gotta breathe. Yeah. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Ooh, let's study Elizabeth here. Take a look at her face and her body language. She's going like this. She's thinking. And she's, yeah, what do you think she's thinking? He's thinking about where's the prince? Where's the prince? Or it almost looks like she's being a little sneaky, right? <laughs> she's like, she's like feeling nervous. She's like, yeah. Readers, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Are you thinking that she's kind of like, ha ha, tricked you? <laughs> oh, she's like, She's got a little sneaky look to her. Let's keep reading and find out more. Maybe. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back. Um, but Elizabeth shot it. Fantastic. Do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. He's like, oh, just get me like five more minutes. Why do you think she did that? Why did she go whisper, hey, dragon? And then why, when he didn't move, why did she say, hey, dragon? She did that so she knows that the dragon's asleep. Yeah. She wants to make sure he's sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. My goodness. If I'm thinking of my character on what is she doing, she is a smart princess, princess because if she made sure that that dragon was sleeping, right, before she even tried. She think about something to make the dragon like really, really tired. Yes, she thought about a plan to get the dragon get really tired. She's tricking him every time. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. The dragon was so tired he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Guess what? That was not nice. Ron was like, Ron was like so rude. So rude. And she's like. So right here, let's study here. What is she like? What do you think she's feeling? Angry because her, her eyeballs are down. Yeah. What else do you think she's thinking? She's thinking about not marrying him. Definitely. Um, what is she doing? What is her body doing? Standing still. Yeah, she's kind of like in shock. Like, oh my God, I just rescued you and that's what you have to say oh my goodness let's see what happens <laughs> come back when you're dressed like a real princess ronald said elizabeth 
Your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. Is she wearing clothes with a paper bag? That's a paper bag. But what just happened here? Well, he's just saying that you look nice and your hair is neat, but you're a bum. What does it mean to be a bum? I don't know. What do you think it means? Let's find out. Well, wait. Hmm. Well, let's see. Here, she's trying to save him, and he's so rude to her, right? Oh, I know what a bum means. I know what so a bum what do you think a bum means? You're so rude, princess. You're, so, you're such a rude prince, right? Yeah. Like, I don't want to marry somebody who is... Rude. Rude and mean. And really, 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 really mean. Yeah. So they didn't get married after all. So that's good. I'm married not a princess. A prince. Yeah. So look at Elizabeth. Here she is. Let's study her. And let's think about what is she doing? Hmm? What is she doing? She is saying... Maybe she's like dancing. She's dancing, right? What do you so, think she's thinking? She's thinking about being happy. About being happy, right? Living her own happy ever after. What do you think she might be saying? She might be saying, I want to live in a house, not even a castle. Yeah. She's going to live her best life, right? Mm -hmm. So we study um, Princess Elizabeth. Yeah. Right? And we learn a lot about Princess Elizabeth. But now, what kind of princess is Princess Elizabeth? What can we say? Think about everything that she's done and things that she said she's in the story. She's a smart princess. She's definitely a smart princess. Yes. Um, everything we learned about her. She's I... smart. And what else is she? Mm. Think about it. She went to go rescue her mm. prince from a dragon. So, they've... so she's very what? She's very... Smart. Smart and, and sneaky. She well, she she definitely tricked him, right? So she got she had a good plan. So she's smart, but when her castle burned down, was she like, oh no, my castle burned down? I'm just gonna sit here and just <laughs> cry. No, she she um no, she wasn't like that. She no, was, he was like, I'm gonna go and follow that dragon, right? You know what that means? What? That's someone who's not only smart, but she's brave. And she's really, really, really... She's brave and she's determined, right? She, so that is how we can study characters. The next time you read a story, I want you to think about what is your character doing? What is your character saying? What is your character thinking? And what is your character feeling, feeling. right? All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining in today. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.